Welcome to Fire Rat Gaming. I am Dean and this is Heavy Rain. This is part seven. We're getting closer to the truth. I can feel it. Let's do this. I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Well, then you can find him without me. I refuse to be responsible for anything that goes wrong. Stop the car. What? Uh -oh. Stop the fucking car! You can have a sissy fit. She didn't want to know a little while ago. And now it's all guns blazing. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Lauren! You miss him. Miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Go for a little caressing. <laughs> okay, so we're back on to him again, are we? So, if you remember, guys, we've actually got to kill this dude. So, he's going to show up and we've got to kill him. That's what, the, that's what he says. So, uh, this should be interesting. What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that... Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? God! I'm gonna blow your oh. brains out, you son of a bitch! Let me fuck that up, didn't I? my house and steal my dope, you'd be shooting up in hell, motherfucker! Come on, man! Will you stop fucking moving? Nowhere to hide, junkie asshole! Get 
Jesus. <laughs> Kill him. Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. What are we going to do, guys? We've got to make a decision. I think I'm going to do it. We've come this far. I'm a father, too. Yeah. But I have no choice. I bet it was the wrong person. <laughs> oh, that's it. Evidence everywhere. Good job. Hang on a minute, then. It can't be him, because it, it, he's got someone talking to him. Oh, he ain't got long as they at all. I'd say he had, he had an hour, maybe two hours tops. I feel bad about that, but he is a drug dealer, so... Looks bad. And comes bone in the ass. What you got for us, bone in the ass? Mad, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bony ass. <laughs> the owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Why is she investigating this? We've got some mad scientist. Mad doctor. This ain't gonna be good. Oh, he looks evil. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. Oh, 
Oh, he's... he's creepy. So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Uh, no. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. We just said no, we don't want a drink. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Um. The important thing is that we're here, right? Okay, um. Do you have many clients? A few. I help to ease their anxiety. Get my hands been off, thin enough, hard working enough. I reassure those who find the system too difficult. I'm like a safety valve that keeps society from imploding. Hmm. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. <laughs> You're not drinking? Uh, no. I am, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. Oh, hang on. We've got that guy chasing the music. creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Uh, what's this? Oh. Blue Lagoon. Come on, bony ass. What else you got? What else is in here? Surgical gowns? I thought he stopped performing operations. Must be some kind of a weird nostalgia for the past. Uh, okay. I think we're to leave now. Let's get out of here. This creepy doctor. He's gonna come back, isn't he? How do we get out? Nah, let's leave. <laughs> that doctor was some crazy old bastard.
Hey, Cracker! What you doing in there? Cracker? <laughs> Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Blood. Now why is there blood here? Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack's size. I think that might be mm. our tire tracks. Oh, Not the car no. I'm looking for. Okay, I'm sure we can find the, the tire tracks. Not much chance of analyzing anything for this mode. Might stand a better chance of finding something in the garage. Okay, well, that's, a, that's a hint. Let's just have a quick look at this one. Gonna be the same comment about the mud. Yeah, impossible to analyze. That's okay. Let's go back in. Now we can go. Wasn't there a step here? Yeah. What's this? Oh, what is that? Oh dear. That's like uh, acid or something. One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Here we go. Oh, he's a big boy, isn't he? Come on, hit him. Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. <laughs> Broke my fucking nose, pig. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You don't scare me, Mr. CSI. You ain't got it in you. Damn! You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, stop. Enough. I'm starting to remember some things. You, you be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash. 
and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Uh -oh. oh, no. Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be... Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Come on. Turn around. I thought he beat his ear off then. <laughs> So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Wait, I can't get to the fridge. Oh, there we go. Right. Let's cook up these eggs. I'm not bad at cooking eggs, actually, guys. Pretty good. It's probably the one of the, uh, the only things I can really cook, but still. There we go. Is that it? I mean, uh... How long do I have to keep doing this for? Okay, all right, now, now's a good time. Egg should be ready by now. Come on.
I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. <laughs> hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. Eat your bloody eggs, woman. I just... You know. If the killer really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribed to an Origami Magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well... Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're going to find him. She looks... was well, she smiling then? I couldn't work out. <laughs> I don't know if she looked angry or happy. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? Okay, so... What was his name? John Shepard, was it? John Shepard. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. Let's ask for help. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further out. Thanks. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? Take it easy, the dead don't mind. He said straight on, straight on didn't he? Is that it? Have you given up? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I was All just right. having a look around, if you don't mind. I thought I found a new partner, not another lieutenant. All right. Well, maybe he means straight on this way. Ah, there it is. Hey, Lauren. I found it. Origami, look. Holy shit. Origami. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Right, I think These flowers are fresh. He's that Looks boy like who died. His father oh, is the origami killer. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in '77, October. Get the hell out of here! God 
beat it, you lousy no good brat. Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. The rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Right, so we've got to run after him. I wonder if he's going to fall down into like um, an industrial pit and then die of rain or, or drown, drown in some way. And it's his father, I reckon, who's the origami killer or uncle or something. Oh, I messed that up. Yeah, something bad's gonna happen. Bet you can't do that. Jeez, you're in nothing but a slow poke. Building sites, no way, no place to. Oh, come on, I can't see. No, no place to play really for kids. We always used to playing trees when I was a kid, tree houses and things like that. I didn't see where you went. Where did he go? Down? Come on, we're almost there.
on, wait for me. Get a move on. Oh, this is actually quite hard. Come on. Come on, it's your turn. It's time for the jump of death. Where did he go? I didn't. Oh, hang on. Is it there? E? Can't. Oh my god. Janky controls. E, D. Hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 19, 20. I cheated a little bit there, guys. He had never did find any help, and his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. Yeah, the boy that makes lived, sense. what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. So it's his brother that's the killer, or his, or his father, Christ, it's one of the two. a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. <laughs> there she goes again, surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. He's sweet on her, I'm telling you. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave? Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? Oh no. It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here?
Oh, that's his brother. He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. Right, we're back, we're back with Madison, the Blue Lagoon. So we found this clue in the doctor's bedside cabinet, so... Um I don't know what we're expecting to find here, but... Paco Mendez. He's the guy who rented the doc's apartment on Marble Street. You better be careful. He might be the killer. This guy. I'm looking for Paco Mendez. Do you know where he is? He's at his table over there. Does he know you? Not yet, but I have to talk to him. That's not possible. Mr. Mendez is asked not to be disturbed. <laughs> He's perving. <laughs> All right, okay. Where else is there to go? Uh, there's an upstairs there. Let's go upstairs. Paco seems to like his girl's sex. these up here, these toilets. Oh, okay, so it's like a, maybe a private area or something. Okay. That's cool. We'll find, there must be somewhere else to go. Quite a lot of music actually. Banging. <laughs> Door over there. No, okay, it's that door. I can't get through there for some reason. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, please, controls. Give it a rest. I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy if I want to talk to the doctor. Gotta find some place to change. Ah, okay. So like a toilet or something. Lights up here. This must be toilets or bath. Excuse me. Get the fucking mic. Move. Oh, what's this? There's a changing area. I think. Can we not go in there? Pick up some new clothes or something? No? Okay. Uh, what's 
this area then. I stand doors, okay. Ah, here we go, toilets. Okay. Uh, okay, so what are we gonna do? Get changed? Did we bring spare clothes? Time to play the sexy girl. That's it, it looks sexy. Job done. Oh! Um... This gives you a feeling. Bit of lippy. Um. Oh. What have she got in that kitty? Oh, fuck, she's got a gun. She's packing heat. <laughs> Excellent, right, I think we're done there. Do you want to use the low? No? And the people getting in the way is just pain in the ass. Where was he? He was. Ah, oh, it was this way, wasn't it? Oh, there we go. She's gonna, get, ah, <laughs> she's gonna slay it up on the stage. Go on, girl. Get him licking his lips. <laughs> Look at him licking his lips. Ah, oh, keep messing it up. So I keep watching him. He's hilarious. <laughs> That's brilliant. Hey, you. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Oh, hey, he's so lucky. Thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know her out here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Fafo. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Ah, oh, I like the way you move, Madison. You're making me all hot under the collar. <laughs> well, maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> oh. Like that, is it? Let's go, Paco. Show me what you got. Oh, for God's sake.
<laughs> right, what are we gonna do here? I don't know if I. Uh... I go in. I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Fucking crazy, this girl. So, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> Just get in the way of the good thing, sweet cheeks. <laughs> so, show me what you can do. Take it off. Slowly. Oh my god, off. have I actually got to do this? Have I actually got to do this? Uh... Guys, could, could we just talk first? Oh, no. We don't need any more talking, baby. I all talked out. <laughs> now, show me what you can do. Ah! Okay, uh, drink. Uh, uh could... Could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice. Oh, we already broke the ice. Let's get Mama. wet. <laughs> Mama. Do your thing, girl. So what does he want me to do? Uh... I'm sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look, uh, I, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood. Oh, shit. Honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never, baby. I never take never for an answer. Okay. Listen, I, I'm not, uh... I'm not that kind of girl. Alright. Oh, shit. Are we actually doing this? The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know! But you go, girl. Okay, act two. Let's hear Lover Boy sing. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. <laughs> Not bad for a chica, but you only hurt my feelings a little bit, mama. <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady, but you're gonna know balls when I gush up with you. Mm. Okay, we need to beat him some more. Is everything all right? <laughs> look, at, look at his face. He's like, that's what I could have had. 
<laughs> if you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Oh, ah, what you doing? Stop it! Stop! Oh, ah, what you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? I never set foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? No. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. Hey. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Oh, ah! Ah! Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know, I swear it! Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciate this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. <laughs> Get out of here. I've got a massive headache. Okay, we'll go out the same way near the toilets. I think, yeah. I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. Crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing now, and I don't want to know. But whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. He's gonna get shot. Look, I know you kept me out of prison, but that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask, I think my debt to you is paid. Don't fuck around, man. No, no. No, wait. I He's dead. How did he get in there then? Oh, oh shit!
Come on, we can do it, we can do it. hate these ones because the thing is right I'm, I'm actually pressing the button correctly and it just doesn't do it I can't push it up I'm doing it I'm, I'm going literally my hand is across the desk and it just will not go any further right there we go Come on! No, it just doesn't. <sighs> Man, this pisses me off. Right. Up. There we go. Sometimes it just doesn't register. It just doesn't register. I don't know why. At least we didn't die. Madison Page? What was a journalist doing here? Oh, no. What are you doing? Paco Mendes was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. So he's, uh, he's a bad man anyway. So, okay. A bullet, right between the eyes. Instant death. The killer was looking for something. His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Okay, so that's one. One. Yep, yeah, that's one gun. And then. What's that? Madison person. Page? She may be a witness. Madison Page again. Yeah, so we've established that she's there. What else are we looking for here? Um, I 
Oh hang on, what's that? Is that another gun? 45 caliber. Oh god, say so, come on controls. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> let's, try, let's try that again. Turn around. There we go. 45 caliber semi automatic. Okay. What else are we looking for here? I collected everything? Oh no, what's that? It's pollen, isn't it, over there? There we go. Orchid pheromone. You can see that. The fucking origami killer. Hmm. Okay, let's leave. I think we've got everything now. Sliced open, look, he's back. Did Paco know the guy who came to see him? Sorry, I don't speak cop. Watch my lips, asshole, because I got no time to translate. Did Paco know the guy? Yes or no? John. Said his name was John. Friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. We've got a fight for the crowds if we direct it again. Uh, which way is the exit? Is it this way? I think it's this way. Well that wraps up that video, if you want to see more then check out the channel, until next time guys, see ya.